Should we take off these stupid hats? Your Mastercraft, for the people who don't know you, how would you describe your sounds? Mastercraft, it's like uh, rave techno, but still disco also, you know? Yes, a disco, that's what I was going to say. We try. Also, everyone makes com music on computers, but we still make music with synthesizer. And with, you know, we still, you hear a hand clap, that's our hands clapping, you know? And uh, we try to to stick with the original ethic of dance, you know? Mm -hmm. Still using those real sounds instead of just using Logic or Ableton or whatever. Mm -hmm. Who are your influences? Everyone from Sylvester to Led Zeppelin to um, Jeff Mills uh, to Panacea, like drum and bass people even. Noisia, Belgium, awesome. Guns N' Roses. Everything. Mm -hmm. Johnny Johnny Cash. Oh, Steely we, Dan. We just we just like good music and it doesn't the only difference between dance and other music is just the drum beat. Mm -hmm. Dance is this and everything else is something else. That's yeah. it. You know. Leroy Burgess. Greg Carmichael. <laughs> you played in a rock band before, right? We bo we both played in rock bands before. We've always played in we played in rock bands always. You know, maybe we still play in rock bands now. But, uh, you know, good music is good music regardless of what the drum beat is and, or how it's made. Mm -hmm. You did a tour with uh, John Digweed. How did that happen? Because it's not the most logical combination of artists. Uh, to play before somebody like John Digweed, who's, you know, w one, one of the top DJs in the world, for us, that was like, well, wow, we have to really, we have to really bring it for this. And... Um, You know, when we played before him, there was the room was full and people were excited and people were dancing and having a good time, and that's all we really care about. And you know, it it, it worked out really well. And John Digweed is uh, really cool and and really nice. And we, you know, talked to him a lot and lear actually learned a lot of a lot of things from just watching him. Um, so it was it was a really it it was a weird a weird. Uh, pairing between the two of us but looking back at it like it was great it was a lot of fun i think every every party we did together was successful and everybody had a good time and that's what matters mm -hmm. i read from all the places you've played in the world that uh toronto your home base is still your favorite what's what's different from for example uh montreal where where tiga lives well, i don't know that's, i don't know where you read that but. that that's kind of bullshit can you say bullshit No, I read it on your MySpace. That's for the kids, that, but that's for the kids in Toronto. Toronto is cool. Toronto, Toronto is an interesting spot. We're halfway between Chicago and New York, so everything that was ever Detroit. cool. Detroit is only Detroit's halfway between Chicago and Toronto, so everything that was cool there, dance music wise, all from Chicago, all from Detroit, all from New York, they all come to Toronto. Toronto is an interesting city, but in terms of our own output. Toronto hasn't given very much to the rest of the world. We haven't given back very much. There's us, Hatrias, that's about it. You know, Montreal, you have Tiga, in a little city called Windsor, you have Richie Houghton, but that's it. Uh, Toronto also had Peaches, but she moved to Berlin. And Tiga moved to Berlin, and Richie Houghton moved to Berlin. So we're the next ones to move. Yeah. I don't think we'll move to Berlin. We'll move somewhere much warmer, mm -hmm. but... Barcelona. Uh, no. Forget even Europe. We'll move to the Bahamas. We'll move to Los Angeles. We'll move to the Bahamas. We'll move to Hawaii. Or we'll move to Tokyo. But Miami. Yeah, we'll move to Miami. But like, everyone leaves. So it's a it's a kind of it's a tough spot. We have great parties, but you know, if you if you're making electronic music, you're making dance music. There's much better places for us to be. So mo most of what we do is outside of our own city. Is there any uh, new productions or remixes you're working on? We're working on, a, we just finished a remix for the New Young Pony Club. We're doing a remix for the Beastie Boys, and we're doing a remix for MIA right now. Which one, which track of the Beastie Boys? I don't actually, I don't actually even know yet. It's off their new record, it's off the instrumental record, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. But we're all, I mean, we're always doing something every day someone asks us for a remix, but most of the time we say no. Yeah, what are your criteria? <coughs> Well, it has to have one, one element that we can exploit and make a hook out of. Mm -hmm. 
whether it be a, a vocal or whether it be a melody or whether it be a bass line, it has to have at least one thing, which isn't a lot to ask. But you'd be surprised what people send us for, for remixing. Uh-huh. Very poor quality. And I understand. I'm not, I'm not getting mad at anybody or trying to make fun of anybody. Because, you know, when you're a record label and you have a song with a, from a group that you don't know what to do with and kind of sucks, you want to have it remixed and you want to make it successful. So I understand why we get sent a lot of bad songs. <laughs> but one thing that everybody should know is that if it's completely bad, if it's 100% garbage, we're not going to remix it because we can't pull anything from it. But we won't, we won't give you a guarantee unless there's a hook. And if there's a bass, a melody, or if there's a vocal hook, then you get, a, you get our Mastercraft guarantee. Otherwise, it's all on spec, and who knows what's going to happen. Uh-huh. You're playing at the uh, I Love Techno Festival. What's your favorite techno record of all time? Mm. My favorite techno record of all time would probably be The Bells by Jeff Mills. You know that song? That song is so dope that, that I mean, I mean, in terms of mo- a modern record, it would be that, but I mean, the rest, there's a million Detroit techno records that I love, and there's a ton of Chicago techno, especially, that's influenced us so much, like uh, Hugo Moya, Neil Landstrom, um, the list is, is very, very long. But I mean, what we do, a lot of people ask us, Oh, you guys like uh, what's happening in France? You like what's happening in England? But I'm like, well, actually, we like what's happened in Detroit and Chicago, just like all those people from France, and just like all those people from Germany, and just like all those people from England. I mean, dance music came from North America, and we grew up on it. Like, it wasn't a big deal. And um, um, like, like Kraftwerk said, when they, they came to Detroit, it changed their lives, because they were like, well, I can't believe that this is what's happening. But for us, that's a, that's a two hours away. It's down the street. You know, it's, it's one road. From my house, I only have to turn once, and I'll be in Detroit. I'm like, that's really how it is. Like, it's not, a, for us, that's, that's the sound of our city, and that's the sound of what we grew up on, and that's the sound that we're going to keep bringing out to the rest of the world, always. We do love techno, for real. It's not, it's not just a name of a festival. Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks a lot, and see you at I Love Techno. Thank you, I Love Techno. <laughs> Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>